How many of you know that you have a winner in Jesus Christ? That's Coco right here live out of Studio 236 on FM HDMS, your HD1 station. Good morning, everybody. I'm Simone Malone. Hope you're smiling. It makes you feel good on this Palm Sunday. It's a very special time of the year, very special day for many Christians as we celebrate the death and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's why he died, so you and I can have a right to the tree of life, and we can enjoy the abundant blessings that he has in store for you. Just want to get some preliminaries out of the way before I get into the word of the Lord. I'm going to talk about sometimes it's just too heavy. We're going to talk about that, but just want to give you an update on my itinerary. I'm going to be away until about uh, April the 9th or 10th. I'm going to be headed to North Carolina to celebrate my birthday, of course, and also be a part of Reverend Doctor. I'm going to call him Reverend Doctor because that's what he is to me. <laughs> Dr. Ron Bigelow and the 21 years of music ministry of the Dr. Ron Bigelow and the Interdenominational Fellowship Choir. Uh, we're going to be in celebration of their anniversary. I'm going to serve as the Master of Ceremonies and also be there to celebrate with many folks. My birthday celebration on April the 5th. So I want you to pray for my journey as I head down to North Carolina. You're going to be in great company this week with our fill-in radio personality, Mr. Jamal Trusty. He's going to host the song Book of Gospel uh, this entire week coming up. And he's going to be on the Soulful Sounds of Afternoon Delight. If you are a pastor, you're an artist, you have a business, maybe a small business, because I believe in focusing on those small businesses. People need to know more about you. Or are you an author? You have something going on in your life and you want to let the world know about it. I know some of you are probably promoting yourselves on the search engines like Twitter and Facebook like I'm on, where I post a lot about the radio station and what we do personally and professionally. Um, I want to help you with that. I want you to join us. I want you to get a chance, if you are local, if you're in the Delaware, New Jersey, or Eastern Maryland, come on up to Philadelphia. Come on by the studio. Let me spotlight you. Let the world know the exciting things that's taking place in your business and in your life. You know, we have to learn to share our gifts and talents and let people know about what you're doing. And I can ask you the right question and get the right answer. So give me a call. Let's talk about it at 215-224-4297. That's 215-224-4297. If you don't want to call me, it's okay. Email me. You can email me at feelgoodbandnumerical1 at hdms.net. If you're celebrating a birthday for the end of the month of March, I want to say happy birthday to you. God bless you to see many, many more. I do get the updates like some of you who are on Facebook uh, of the birthday uh, celebrations of people and their birthdays. And I want to say happy birthday to all of you who are my Facebook friends that are celebrating your birthday uh, this coming week. OK, so I think I got all of that out. Just a few health notes, because I'm all about being healthy. Um, I always share my testimony of faith and deliverance. You know, two years ago, it was in 2011 during the summer. I went through six weeks of uh, radiation and two infusions of chemotherapy and God healed me from cancer. And I thank him for the healing. And when you can claim a healing and you can say it, it's when you go back to the doctor, they do all the tests and they find that there is nothing there. That's your healing. Some people are in recovery. That means that they don't see whatever it is, but it can come back. But, you know, when you put it in God's hand, when you place all of your burdens, your conditions and your problems, thank your father into his hands and just believe it, just believe it, that it's going to be all right. He will work it out for you. Believe me when I tell you that. So staying healthy. I always share what I do here. I drink uh, the healthy drinks like the ginger that I'm drinking today. You see that? Look at that in that cup. Hmm. It's really good. The fresh ginger is very good for you. It helps you with any stomach issues. Uh, for those of you that are public speakers like me and some of you that sing, um, you know, it, it really soothes the throat. Uh, a lot of guests will tell you when they come to the studio, I serve them fresh ginger. <laughs> it's very good. And the lemongrass uh, tea. I also decided to share again. I did it. Uh, you know, last year sometime, but I the, some of the products that I use on my skin are very, very healthy. I hope I look healthy to you. My skin is bright and clear and rejuvenated. Um, I, I use something that is handmade. I went yesterday uh, to my soap person, and I thank Alan and um, the wonderful soap person that prepares and makes the soap fresh. Fresh batch of lemongrass soap. Let, let's get a good look at that. For those of you that can see the live video, uh, you see that? Look at that. That's that's lemongrass right there. Um, if you want to know more details about getting this soap from my soap person, that's right. We can hook you up. Uh, give me a call. 
Mm, it, it smells so good. Lemongrass is very, very healthy, folks. Google it. Read about it. And um, you'll be turned on forever. Also, I use the peppermint soap. I've turned uh, a very special friend of mine to this soap, and he just loves it. Uh, quite a few people just love it. Um, and and uh, it's very healthy. This here that I'm holding uh, is the peppermint soap. Peppermint. Peppermint is a very good herb. Uh, many of you probably drink peppermint uh, tea and but this is natural a hundred percent and this is the pure peppermint soap look at that it smells mm, my goodness it's it smells so good that i want to eat it but anyhow <laughs> you got to get these soaps up uh, if you want to know more details about it uh people have hit me up and said simone i want that i want that give me a call let me talk to you about it 215-224-4297 that's 215-224-4297 i promise you your skin is going to feel marvelous you're going to love it uh you're going to look better you're going to feel better you're going to look younger if you want to uh-huh so i'll share more about that Got all of those things out, so now let's get into the word of the Lord because uh, the word, these moments of inspiration, they really help me, folks, uh, in my development as I do my daily readings and things that come across to me, uh, sometimes and things that happen throughout the week and, and God speaks to me or someone is talking to me and mm, I just got a word of inspiration for something that I could be dealing with or you could be dealing with. I want to talk about sometimes it's too heavy. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the problems uh, that we deal with on a daily basis. Life situations can really wear us down, especially when you're not working. Uh, you're trying to seek monies to pay your bills, to provide your daily needs. Um, Maybe it's too heavy for you because you're lonely. You want to be in a relationship. You want someone to love you, the key word, unconditionally. Um, may, may, maybe you're just not well in your body and it's just too heavy. I want you to know that God is going to lighten up your heavy load. That's why he died. That's why we celebrate resurrection and, of course, uh, his death. I want you to read the book of Matthew. I want you to go into the book of Matthew and I want you to read that in also Psalms 32, 1 through 6 in Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. But I want to focus on a real simple scripture in Matthew uh, number eleven twenty eight. It says, Come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Not your mother, not your father, not your boyfriend, not your brother, not your friend. I, the Savior, our God, will give you rest. Come to me all you who are labor and are heavy laden and I will will give you rest. Sometimes, sometimes, life situations are just too heavy. Sometimes the things that we're dealing with just wear us down physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It just withdraws us. We don't want to do nothing. We don't want to talk to nobody. We don't even want to get on Facebook and Twitter. You know what I'm talking about. You want to turn that computer on, but you just are dealing with too much that's just too much to bear. But the Bible talks about taking your burdens to the Lord. Talk to him about it. Whether the burden that weighs you down is one of guilt, such as the one that consumed David's thoughts. Check this out. Psalms 32, 1 through 6. The fear Peter experienced. That's Matthew 26, 20 through 35. You've got to read that. Or the doubt Thomas carried. That's John 20, 24 through 29. Jesus has invited us to bring them all to him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I, I, the Savior, will give you rest. We are not built to bear burdens alone. No, no, no. We are not built to bear burdens alone. When we cast them out, who wants to bear our burdens? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He replaces them with forgiveness and healing and restoration. God can replace whatever situation you're dealing with, with forgiveness, healing, and restoration. No burden is too heavy to bring to God. Remember to say, Lord, I thank you for lovingly carrying our burdens. I thank you for carrying my burden of what I'm dealing with. In times of trouble, help me to leave those burdens there in your strong hands and to find the rest in you. Remember that the burden God, burden God with what burdens you. So if there's a situation, something happening in your life that's just pulling you down, it's weighing heavy on your shoulders and you don't know how to release it, just give those burdens to the Lord. How do you give those burdens to the Lord, my brother and my sister? You need to talk to him. You need to pray to him and say, Lord, I just humble myself to you and I'm giving my problems to you. I'm just leaving it right there. 
because I know that I can trust you and I can believe that you're going to work it out for me. Sometimes we cannot tell everybody our problems. Some of you know you get on the phone, you're texting and you're doing all kinds of things and telling people your problems. And some of those people that you're telling your problems to cannot talk to God and don't understand. They're going to share your problems with other people to make you feel worse than what you are. But take your burdens to the Lord. Sometimes, sometimes it's too heavy and you just have to talk to the Lord and he will strengthen your heart. Let's touch it. Father God, I thank you for this word on this Palm Sunday. God, you died for us and you rose and we thank you, God, that we can celebrate our life with abundance. But oh God, somebody right now that's listening and watching this live video stream on Facebook and my YouTube channel, Trusted Voice and Radio. Sometimes, God, it's just too heavy. The burdens, the trials and the situations, God, that we have on our day-to-day associations and interactions. It's pulling somebody down right now, but Father God, I ask you to throw out the lifeline of hope and encouragement and love and bring that mother, that father, that boy, and that girl, and Lord, you know what they're dealing with, and they want to have a light load, but God, the load is so heavy. Oh God, I ask you to be with our people during this holiday season, God, as many celebrate and travel for the holiday, protecting God them, God. Be with me, God, as I travel and head to North Carolina, God. I thank you, God, for blessing us and keeping us, and help somebody lighten up their heavy load today so that they can enjoy the bountiful streams of blessings in Jesus name we pray if you believe God you ought to lift your hands right there and say amen because God will lighten up your heavy load there you have it the inspiration of moment sometimes sometimes folks it's just too heavy when you get a chance read Psalms 32 1 through 6 Matthew 11 28 through 30 and Matthew 11 28 says again come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I I, the Savior, will give you rest. I hope you enjoyed the inspiration a moment. If you did, I want you to take a moment. I want you to respond to me. You can respond right there to the inspiration a moment. Uh, go to our homepage of the website and place a testimonial at fmhdmsradio.net. There you have it, the inspiration a moment today. Sometimes, sometimes, it's too heavy. But God will lighten up your, your heavy load.